Welcome to promotional video about King Arthur Knight's Tale Season 2 of the end game, you never ending bastards. Check the link in description for King Arthur Knight's Tale Steam page. From December 2nd to December 9th there is 60% sale, so the full price is 18 euros or around 20 dollars, which is a great deal. It is a perfect chance to enter the fantasy world of Avalon where Knights of the Round Table are main characters. You are Sir Mordred, a nemesis of King Arthur with the goal to take him down after both of you died at the beginning, although haven't stayed dead for long. You have killed King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died. King Arthur is a turn-based tactical RPG with roguelite elements that is currently available on Steam and on February 22nd, 2024 on PlayStation and Xbox. Neocore Games are the developer. Some of you might know them from titles such as Warhammer 40k, Inquisitor Martyr and Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, which is one of my favorite Diablo-esque action RPGs. Rising Eclipse, a season 2 free update for the endgame is now out that adds many new features and mechanics. New players are still gonna be able to enjoy 2.0 update as it is accessible by starting a new game as well as launching season 2. Next to going out on missions, legendary castle Camelot needs to be maintained, upgraded and used as a base to make the heroes good enough in order to battle ever increasing challenges. Camelot has training grounds for leveling heroes between missions, crypt for fallen heroes, hospice for healing vitality, round table for increasing loyalty, issuing decrees and laws, cathedral for removing injuries, enchanted tower and merchant for trading. With Rising Eclipse two new buildings have been added. One is a shrine that unlocks new powerful upgrades for your merry band. To get the upgrade special eclipse shard is going to have to be acquired while on missions. Second building is the forge where armor and weapons can be improved through reforging rarity, levels and enhancing stats. Both of these new features along with the others are gonna have to be mastered in order to progress through King Arthur on higher difficulties. Same goes for tactical combat that has plenty mechanics. It is required to understand the challenges ahead as preparation is key. Enemy types have their own weaknesses and strengths. You'll be facing revenants, undead, raids, dragons and all sorts of mythical creatures. Many famous characters such as Sir Lancelot, Sir Hector, Lady Boudica and the likes can be played with. Party consists of 4 members and each member is a certain class. Mordred is defender, that is tank. Sir Balan is champion that can dish out massive damage. Sir Hector is an arcanist and so on. Each hero has also unique perks that distinguishes them from the other same class heroes. Knight's Tale is gonna throw different types of challenges and those can be really tough if not using proper tactics and team strength. For example, some encounters are gonna require rushing towards specific enemies that buff whole armies with devastating buffs. Other times more Spartan-like tactics are gonna have to be used where team sticks together in order to provide bonuses to one another. Every approach has certain advantage and disadvantage and not every works as well in certain situations. I really like this as it keeps things interesting. With the new Rising Eclipse update, Fey enemies have entered the realm with rifts that can be found during missions. These rifts grant buffs to sheathe enemies until the rifts have been closed. Gotta say sheet fights are tough as they can drain life and always come into a fight with buffs to their allies or debuffs to your team. Of course to make things interesting be prepared for tough boss fights next to all of this. Not gonna spoil more than the ones on the screen as they can be quite interesting with many mechanics. For example this big bastard can summon bone cages that make heroes unable to act for 3 turns. Next he can summon wargs every 3 turns. Not to mention massive AOE attacks with weakness debuff. Expect many different bosses with new ones added through Rising Eclipse. Two interesting mechanics are loyalty and morality. Both are connected to choices throughout the campaign of which there are plenty. Party members increase or decrease loyalty towards Mordred based on these choices which affects their combat prowess. Every choice steers in one of four directions on the morality chart. Old Faith vs Christianity, 
and righteousness versus tyranny. Every path has its own rewards in terms of laws, decrees and unlocked heroes. System works great in a game like this as it adds more meaning to each mission. King Arthur Knight's Tale uses Neo Corzon Cortex engine that looks fantastic. Details on characters and enemies are plenty and distinguishable. Locations look fantastic and whole engine serves this game amazingly well. Finally, something not using Unity, eh? I can appreciate that. What else is there to say? Big sale right now for a game that offers a lot and can keep you playing for months with plenty of end game content and challenges. Rising Eclipse is the biggest update so far with overhaul of many skills and mechanics too. There was no better time to run Legendary Camelot than now. Thanks for watching.